you may see a place like this and think, total devastation. But that depiction is, as we've learned from countless experts over the last two weeks, not the whole story and not how you should think about wildfires. So let's rewind and start with some history. The Great Fires of 1910 ripped through the West. It helped reinforce the idea that we needed to suppress fire at all costs. But it led to the fire paradox. The fire paradox is the harder you try to fight fire, the worse it gets when it does happen. We're experiencing that today. That means the forests have gotten thick and scraggly. This stuff here is what can lead to a catastrophic fire. Oh gosh, a huge crown fire. In the West, it will come in eventually. This is not the outcome we want. Big, uncontrollable fires. Plus, many people now live in these wild lands. A real fear. The solution is not how to stop the fire. It's how to work with the fire. It's all the things in the toolbox. The only choices that we really have is what kind of fire to have and when do we want it. And that's it. A landscape with fire might look like this. A cleared understory that won't destroy the entire forest. Let's use the latest science. Let's get our forest back in shape to protect ourselves and our ecosystem. We can't just put the fires out because we can't put them out. We've tried that now for a century and it doesn't work. It just makes the next one worse.